So, Apple is going ultra. Yeah, Apple will be bringing a new category to the iPhone lineup. No, it's not the iPhone mini. The iPhone 15 Ultra will be introduced in September at the iPhone 15 launch, although Apple hasn't confirmed anything yet. Here are some of the rumored specs and features for the iPhone 15 Ultra. A massive upgrade to the iPhone experience, high-end but still compact, and top-tier tech paired with a gigantic screen manifest as the iPhone 15 Ultra. It is important to note that these are just rumors, and the iPhone 15 Ultra may not have all these features. We will have to wait until Apple officially announces the phone to know for sure. This September we're expecting Apple to launch four new iPhones, the iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Plus, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Ultra. But demand for the iPhone 15 Plus will probably be relatively low, going by past form, so it's the other three that will likely see the most attention. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has had a 6.7-inch Super Retina XDR display since the iPhone 12, and that's not expected to change with the iPhone 15 Ultra. It will still have a dynamic island pill, promotion technology with adaptive refresh rates up to 120Hz, an always-on feature, true tone, and 2,000 nits of peak brightness outdoors. When it comes to display, Apple has really outdone itself catching up to the likes of Samsung. The iPhone 15 Ultra is expected to get Apple's newest A17 Bionic processor, which will be built using a 3 nanometers process for the first time. Apple has used a 5 nanometers process since the A14 was introduced in 2020. The A17 will be built using the same architecture as the upcoming M3 chip for the Mac, which is expected to deliver a significant speed and power efficiency boost. According to noted Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, the iPhone 15 Ultra will run on an upgraded ultra-wideband UWB processor just like the other iPhone 15 models, which Apple calls the U1 chip, to better integrate with the company's new AR headset, the Vision Pro. UWB is a short-range wireless communication standard often used to track down the location of objects. It can pinpoint your Apple AirTag or unlock your car as you walk up to it with your phone. In a recent post on Twitter, Kua said this is all part of Apple's broader strategy to build a more competitive ecosystem for Vision Pro. The iPhone 15 Ultra will get a bump up in RAM to 8GB from 6GB to complement the anticipated A17 Bionic chipset. Base models will continue to receive 6GB RAM, according to TrendForce. This rumor is also apparently backed up by a research report from analyst Jeff Poo of Haitong International Securities, according to a Mac Rumors article. While the iPhone 14 Pro Max brought an impressive main camera upgrade from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels, the iPhone 15 Ultra will reportedly take things even further. Literally, the iPhone 15 Ultra is expected to get a new periscope zoom lens, which will reportedly raise the optical zoom from 3x all the way to 6x or 10x, with digital zoom that will likely reach 30x or 50x with incredible clarity. The optical zoom on the iPhone 14 Pro Max is limited to 3x, which lags rivals such as the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra's 10x optical zoom. This rumor was recently bolstered by a well-known leak source and Twitter user Unknowns21, who stated that the Pro Max model will come with a special lens. The wide and ultra-wide cameras will likely be the same 48-megapixel and 12-megapixel front-facing camera, respectively. But Apple will surely refine the processing and add some new camera tricks. Also rumored to be using a more efficient LiDAR scanner supplied by Sony. Based on rumors and speculation, the expected price range for the iPhone 15 Ultra is between $1,199 and $1,299. This would be a significant price increase over the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which starts at $1,099. Prices have dramatically increased since the original iPhone arrived in 2007. And that may happen again in 2023 with the iPhone 15 models, except not in the way you might think. The rumored Ultra model could potentially replace the iPhone 15 Pro Max next year, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman writes. 
This falls in line with predictions from Ming Kuo, who expects Apple to differentiate further between the iPhone Pro and iPhone Pro Max models. However, other rumors suggest that the iPhone 15 Ultra is a step up from the iPhone 15 Pro Max US prices currently range from $829 for the entry-level iPhone 14 model, 128GB, all the way up to $1,599 for the highest-end iPhone 14 Pro Max with 1TB of storage. We might see an upgraded wireless charging system for the iPhone 15 Ultra. According to a May report by Charger Lab, a power specialist website with a steady track record, all iPhone 15 models will support 15W wireless charging using the Qi 2 open standard. If this turns out to be true, it'll mean the iPhone 15 models could open up a whole new world of wireless charging devices that can replenish the device at its full speed. Apple had previously limited open wireless charging standards to 7.5W, leaving the full 15W charge speed for Apple MagSafe licensed accessories. Goodbye to the lightning port and say hello to USB-C. The iPhone 15 Ultra will definitely have a USB-C charging system same as other iPhone 15 models. This one has been in the rumors for years now, but in 2023 the switch from a lightning port to a USB-C port could finally happen. That's possibly due to pressure from the European Union, which has been pushing for a common charging standard for years. The question is whether Apple will switch all iPhone models to USB-C or just those sold in the EU. Apple already modifies iPhone models regionally, as it has done with the iPhone 14. The US version has an electronic SIM, while other variants retain the SIM slot. However, there are good reasons to move all iPhones to USB-C moving forward, according to Avi Greengart, the analyst at Techsponential. The USB-C port with support for data transfer speeds of up to either 20 gigabits per second or 40 gigabits per second, up from just 480 megabits per second on current iPhones. The iPhone 15 Ultra will use a new cinematography feature that will allow live 4K Thunderbolt outputs to monitors while recording. Essentially, you'll have the phone with all the camera controls, connected to a monitor displaying live 4K camera footage without any controls, and 16 colon 9. It's not yet clear whether Apple's upcoming premium iPhones will allow you to share all types of content across multiple screens using the charging port alone. Game and movie content, for instance, might still require AirPlay or an Apple TV. At the very least, though, filmmakers, photographers, and other creatives look set to have the option of visualizing their subjects on larger, control-free monitors with the iPhone 15 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro. The iPhone 15 Ultra will have a solid-state button on the side. Apple will differentiate further between its base and Pro models in the coming years. The iPhone 15 Ultra will have solid-state volume and power buttons instead of the standard keys present on today's devices. The home button found on the iPhone SE and iPhone 7 mimics the tactile feel of pressing a button with the help of haptic feedback. The apparent advantage of this type of button is that it also protects against water getting in. According to Pooh, Apple needs more time to develop the haptic engines required to power these new buttons, with Ming Kuo adding that their removal from the iPhone 15 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro will simplify the development and testing process. Apple holds its annual iPhone event in September almost every year, so we'd expect the timeline to remain the same for the iPhone 15. New iPhones typically get released shortly thereafter, usually on the Friday of the following week. Sometimes Apple will stagger release dates for specific models, especially when introducing a new design or size. So, it's possible that the iPhone 15 Ultra will have more than one release date. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new iPhone 15 Ultra. Will you buy it or skip this one? Interesting to hear from you. Until next time, thank you for watching.